like Adam and Eve. Call us Adam and Eve. I guess we're like Adam and Eve. Call Purple tie for you. Morning, guys. Good morning. Yes, yeah, it's, like, uh, it's what I like to hear. Cool, cool. Right. I'm so, so happy about these daily meetings brought on by our very own Celia. Looking sharp today, I must say, I must say. <laughs> cool. Well, Celia came up to me last week and she suggested these ideas and I must say, I feel your vibes. I feel your vibe. I feel your vibe. I kind of feel your vibe again. I definitely feel your vibe. <laughs> well, I like that. That hurts. Anyway, I'm going to pass you over to my, uh, my G, my GF, Sarah, yeah, update him. Sure. Okay, so as you know, today's market is literally flooding with commercial opportunities. So we as a unit need to focus on the low-hanging fruit and keep our customers happy. Yesterday's target was met, but due to a late delivery, today is going to be tough but just remain calm and pleasant over the phones and reassure our partners that they will receive the shipment by this evening. So, um, you came back for round two then? Yeah, had to. Mm. No, it's not even that bad, you know. And, um, you know you love it already, so don't even try it. Mm. I'll give you two weeks until you feel what I feel. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy the job and everything, but, you know, sometimes it can get a bit long, do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, not to put a down in it all and that, but, you know. Anyway, what are you saying? You right? Yeah, boy, life is blessed right now. I can't even complain. You right, Giza? What's up? Oh, um, no, I'm just happy to be here, you know, and be part of this wonderful team. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. Tony was good. Hey, bruv, you need to chill with that, man. Are you right? You sound like you're on something. I don't remember you being this moist at college. Oh, Tell you what, Sarah, you need to get me two of whatever you're smoking. <sighs> <laughs> anyway, let's get him. Let's get him. <laughs> ah. Morning. Morning, Vigette. Oi, two sugars, please. Thank you. Okay, someone's taking this thing for Starbucks. How about you go and make yours? Come on, is that how you treat your guests, yeah? Brown sugar, please. Thank you. Nah, you're getting a bit fresh, you know. First of all, my house is your house, yeah. The mugs are up there, the tea bags are over there, and the milk is in the fridge. Thank you. And second of all, why are you such a happy me today, anyway? Talk to me. Oh, okay. It's like that, yeah. Cool, cool. I'll remember this. Mm -hmm. Who does this? There's hardly any milk left. What am I supposed to do with this? That's none of my business. <sighs> nah, but you are really trying to avoid the question. Why are you so happy today? Well, if you must know, I got moved to last night. What? <laughs> Is that you, yeah? Not even a full 24 hours in the end, Bridget. <laughs> are you that? Is that how you're going on, yeah? Okay, bring me in. I want all the details. <laughs> Not until you make me my hot Ribena. Hey, I am super hungry, you know. You know what? I bought some food in, so if you wanted that, because I'm not even hungry, to be honest. Yeah, that would be nice. Thank you. Yo, can I ask you something? Go on. Like, you know when you get a woman's number? I don't mean like any girl, I mean a woman. Yeah. How long do you wait before calling without coming across too keen? Hold on, did you just say a woman's number? Yeah. Jeez! Is that how you're going on? Yeah, woman. Is that yeah. how you're rolling? What? Oh, you're not as neat as I thought you was, is it? No, you're an idiot, man. <laughs> look, look, before I answer anything, yeah, I just need to know more information, yeah? Like, fill me in, bruv. Who is this woman, man? Yeah, we see last night, yeah? Yeah. Yes, last night. Yeah, you see last night, well, I was at the bus stop. Yeah. And I was just thinking about what my dad was saying, you know, just getting a wifey, settling down, not being alone. Yeah. And it's like this fine specimen that came out of nowhere. I mean, like, boom! It's appeared out of nowhere. 
What do you mean appeared out of nowhere? Bruv, I was sitting at the bus stop, I was caught two two Zs, and I was woke up and she was just there sitting there, cash looking all slick, like gracefully eating some ribs. Bruv, you're making this woman sound like she's on some another level. I remember we caught eyes, had a few awkward moments. Nah man, she's special. He was just overly looking at me. I caught him like five times. I was like, how bait can you get? I love it. Was he nice though? Not gonna lie, he is nice. He just has a different look about him. I can't explain it. So anyway, we got in the bus, and I got to talking, and I swear down there was times when I was just like gazing at her, because she's got this wicked smile, <laughs> and the eyes and everything. This guy was like, I'm going to protect you from all these weirdos out here. And I was thinking, um, how about you move yourself? What? Nah, no, is this how guys are moving nowadays? <laughs> what next? Nah, but listen, he was proper asking me how I was, about my life, what I'd been through. Like, he was proper talking to me with respect and not only talking, but listening. I felt like we were talking for a good 20 minutes, I swear. He made that bus journey feel like it was nothing. Mm. All I'm saying is, yeah, just be careful because there's a lot of guys that have different motives nowadays and took that good game. Like, I know a lot when I'm at home and you're excited, but just take time, babes, man. I honestly can't remember the last time a guy took genuine interest in me. Not for the way I look or for what I have, but for simply me. I beg you don't go stop him, you know, B. You've met him, like, one day and you're going to, like, say he's the one. Like, come on. Listen, anyway... He asked for my number, but the way he'd done it was like, he'd never done it before, so I just had to give it to him. He was so cute. See? There's just something different about him, like, he's cut from a different cloth. <sighs> he's just amazing. So you believe in love at first sight? Yeah. I believe that God has that one person out there for everyone. I think maybe this is it. Just don't be the one that flops it, you know what I mean? Don't want to be that guy. Hey. Oh, what she gave? I bet she gave you the wrong number. Bro, we take for some kind of chief. Everyone knows about the drop call test. So when I got off the bus, gave her a quick bell, saw the bus go past, see her pick up a phone. Easy, got my number still. <laughs> <laughs> it must be something for you to be giving out your own line. Do you remember when you used to give out mine? And I used to be like, who is this calling off my phone? Listen, you got to do what you got to do nowadays. Not everyone falls for the 079-123-4567 anymore. That's so sad. Has he texted you? No, not yet. <sighs> so when are you going to call her? That's why I'm asking you. You're the gal, let's... Oh, come on, man. I'm not even, man. But to be honest with you, there's not a right or a wrong time to give her a call. Yeah. But I guess you don't want to be too eager, right? Maybe give it a couple of days, you know, just play it cool, see what happens. You're right now. Thanks, man. Yeah? I knew I could trust you. Ah. <laughs> you know, you look nice today, though. Do I? Oh, yeah, thank man. you. Thank you. Jeez. You know, I try my best. And that winning <laughs> smile. <laughs> Don't make me blush. Don't make yeah, you blush. So, you've been busy or what? Yeah, you know me, man. I just feel about my business and it, trying to mm -hmm. sort a few things out here and there, like, mm -hmm. you know I me. Mean? Yeah. But forget about me, man. It's all about you right now. Thank you very much. Girl of the hour. <laughs> of the hour, you know? You mean of the day? Of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to be smooth, mm. like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, boom, I was going to take you restaurant and, you know, this plan that I skating and stuff like that, but you know, we might as well just skip it and go to the hotel. What? Man. <laughs> yeah, like you're like my prince, but I don't want to unwrap you quickly. You'd be so lucky, no, no. Huh? I've been waiting all this time. I want to be treated, wined and dined. No. Right, right, right. Yeah, do right, it right. first. If you're on your best behavior, if you're lucky. I'm lucky, <laughs> yeah, she says you're lucky. Wow, wow, wow. Right, you know what? Yeah, heard it, heard it, heard it. Let's see what happens. Yeah. yeah. Up, right? uh, <laughs> boy, okay. the way you're looking though, <laughs> hey, look at that smile. You're too much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank 
Fogo on this side. It's fine, man. Yeah, what? Alright, man, I'm next, man. Hey, jam, fam. Soon done, innit? Hey, move, man. Hurry up, man. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, hello. How you doing, babe? I'm good, thank you, honey. I miss you. Where are you? Yeah, um, I just come back from the gym, you know. I had a quick workout still. Okay, well, uh, I hope you've been saving your energy for me for this evening. I'm going to need you again tonight. What, no problem? What, eight o'clock, yeah? Oh, yes. Thank you. You're the best. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Alright, later, Bubs, yeah? Who's that? I'm watching. Just got some things to see. Not at 8 o'clock. It's dinner first, remember, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so I'm just being nosy. What's this all about? Ha ha! Well, I'm starting a little dance class tonight. It's called Spinny Salsa. I I'm Spinny, by the way. Uh, my name's Eleanor, but you can call me Spinny. Oh, cool. I'm Sophia. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Nice to meet you, Sophia. <laughs> well, um, are you local? I mean, you're more than welcome to join us tonight. Uh, yeah, well, I just moved to the area, so I guess it should be good to mingle and stretch your leg because Lord knows I need a workout. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's £10 a session, but if you bring a partner, you gain free entry! Okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you tonight then. Really? You're going to come along? Okay. Okay, well you take care. Alright then. See you. Hey bro, thanks for the food earlier on I appreciate that. <laughs> Don't worry about it, you're my boy. <laughs> you're a good man, man. Another day's done though, eh? Yeah. This week is just dragging along. Bro, you alright? Yeah, I'm good. Sure. Yeah. Hello, do you want a lift to the station? Nah, I'm cool, I'll just walk. You sure? Yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine. Why are you fronting, bruv? You know you want a lift, man, just say so. Nah, I fully tried to mask it. I'll take it safe. Yeah, cool, jump in, man. Time, Jay, open the door, man. Jay, open the door. Jay. Jay! I'm just getting old. Larry. Jay, this is hard. I didn't know you were into gospel. Come on, bro. I love this, man. It's like you're a Christian, yeah? Wicked. Wicked. Yeah. Born and raised. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it's been hard still, though, bro. You know what I mean? I'm still here, man. Nah, trust. I know what you mean. I have to fight battles on a daily, but, you know, God gives me the strength to keep going. Hey, bro. So what? You see what you were telling me earlier about that girl? Yeah. You know what's your question? Go on. Are you a, you know, a German? What? Are you a German? What are you on about, bruv? Bruv, haven't you seen that episode from Fresh Prince? No. <sighs> Alright, straight up. Are you still a virgin? Why didn't you just say that in the first place? <laughs> Coming out with this stupid German talk. Next minute I thought he was going to be like, it was just just oh, Nine! Get down! Oh, you need to allow, you need to allow, you need to allow. Well? Idiot. Look, don't tell anyone yet. Okay. Yeah. I am. Jeez! Your face. Oh wow! Hey, I, I felt alone, you know. 
I thought, yeah, I was the only German in this village, fam. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Jay, you're a madman. Man knows how I felt like a foreigner in this Babylon <laughs> city, blood. But yeah, no. It's like virginity is not even sacred anymore. Boys, girls just doing it left, right, and center like it's numb. Trust me, man. And then when you're surrounded by it 24-7, it's hard. Trust me, it's hard not to give in. Now listen, Lord knows how I've been a German, yeah, for all of these years, bruv. It's been a madness, I'm telling you. Jay, seriously, that. We need to allow this German talk. Just chill with it. Stop it. Enough. It's been so hard, but you know what? It's all for a good cause, man. Yeah. Whoa. What? You know that girl I was telling you about that I met at the bus stop? What's up? She wants to link up tonight. Ah, oh, stress. <sighs> oh. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? It's not even been one day. You took her number, you know? Mm. And she's texting you first. <laughs> no, that's a madness. Do with some tension release. Okay. Do not mess with me. I guess there's just something special about you. Something special about you too. So oh, then, you stupid cow. Now I never wanted you. Now I never will. Familiar, yet foreign, that dry fruit. A man is brittle. He is the crayons that belong to children. He is the curator of imagination. A man is strategy. <gasps>